Intrigue takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The City of Angels showing it can be loud and raucous. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad emerged from the tunnel. They're ready for football and ready to watch their Rams do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it will be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. Here's Rodgers to throw. The battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easily and move on. Here's gone. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now gone. And that'll be caught by Cobb. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Meanwhile, Goff to Gurley as he drops it on for his running back. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes us second and nine. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And a good burst there right from the start as he'll get this one out near the 35. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Out of the gun. Gone. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Check the backer, check the backer. Hey, kill, kill. Patrick. Super. Turbo set. A shotgun snap for gone. And they got a man. It's Woods. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. 
You think back to the Super Bowl against New England, the Rams never even got into the red zone in that game, and now here they are in the red zone on their opening drive with a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Check safety, check safety. Hey, kill, kill. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the gun on third down, Goff. And he's got the hook up here, it's Woods. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We're scoreless after one. Cut. Wait, 20. Gives it 50. Check back 50. It's our time. Go, 12. Let's go. Cut. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams from three yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field, but now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. A good game there on first down. That run will get them 7 up to the 32-yard line. 7 yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a 2nd and 3. Brings up 2nd and 3 at the 32 yard They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, 2nd and 3. The first carry now for the BYU man, it's Jamal Williams. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Line of scrimmage, again the 37, as they line up second and 10. Here's Rodgers, throwing again. This one complete to his running back, Jamal Williams. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. intended receiver but it'll be second and goal defensively Charles they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes yeah you're exactly right they've been assignment sound staying in their lanes keeping proper leverage and communicating well too 
Second down and goal. Rodgers, blitz coming and down he goes. Clay Matthews adding another sack to his impressive NFL resume. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. The Ram fans in this old stadium on their feet. Third and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he's got the connection to the tight end, Graham. Touchdown, Packers. Jimmy Graham there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone so obviously his confidence was never lost and that's a good thing to see great quality to have and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback but i have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game just the second drive they've worked on these plays all week in practice put them in, put them to good use on that one and all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Golf. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. I got it. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Two for one. Fresno, Fresno. Orange, 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 orange. Cornell. From the gun, here's gone. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good pickup, 17 yards, and also a Rams first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Here's gone. And an alley to run. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Going now is Rodgers. It's Williams on the catch. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. On first down, Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in his first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. The end result, 21 yards. 
think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Rodgers now on first down. He's got to hook up to Lazard. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Rodgers now on third and goal. Yeah, he's got it. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to seven. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Offense ready to go for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Back to the air. Golf on second down. Then he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Yeah, I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. They're going to go for it. It's gone. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. Goff now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. Goff now looks to throw. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. 
10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. A good down to possibly take a shot, and in fact, they'll come up with an empty backfield on second and inches. Here's gone. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And an alley to Tom Gurley. Wave goodbye. Touchdown, LA. Tom Gurley, 51 yards. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. But well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's got a man, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the play. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And Rodgers is going to go down. Aaron Donald with a sack. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now Rodgers. He gets this to Devontae Adams. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And Adams has it complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 27-yard line. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. He's got his man. It's Williams. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. It's a nice job hitting him on the angle route there. Come out of the backfield, cutting sharply across the middle. And that's good timing between the quarterback and his receiver. Effective third down play to move the chains. Rodgers now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven, it's first and 10. Rodgers again now. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. Now listen, it's a team game, we know that, but where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? They take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again, but on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right. You just mentioned that the defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Golf. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. We go to the 20. He can't, man. He's not going to get me. I got him, man. I got him. I got him. He's mine. He's mine. He's mine. On first down, it's Gurley. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Tremont Williams, a veteran corner there on the stop. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. From just shy of midfield, Goff. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Well, well, well. Well, Goff turns and gives to Gurley. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29 yard line. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Again, they run with Gurley. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A.